plant and spatter dock, uh, which is, of course, all everything we're planting here is native. Uh, that's a spatter dock or yellow cow lily. They have a lot of common names for it. They've got these long rhizomes that are just below the surface of the soil or on top of the surface. So we trimmed them off, cleaned them up, took some of the dead and dying leaves off it. There's a baby leaf coming. There's a baby leaf coming. And this plant will grow that way. So uh, we've learned to plant them. Uh, over time, you don't plant them like this or anything like that. Put them right on the very bottom of the pan. And this pan has sand, uh, washed builder sand. And uh, we've mixed fertilizer, slow release fertilizer with it at uh, about three and a half, four grams uh, per kilogram of, of dry sand. We know exactly how much sand we've got here. We've done a lot of these. And as long as this leaf is above the water, uh, it'll photosynthesize and elongate. This is the fertilizer sand. And then we go ahead right behind and get two or three scoops of that uh, metal scoop. Get two or three scoops right out of there and just put right in there to hold this thing down. Yeah, there you go, another one maybe. That's not fertilizer. That's what we call capping sand, just for the lack of a decent name, I guess. That probably will do it, and it'll, it'll develop some roots. We've pulled, broke all the roots off when they harvest them, and then they, they'll go right out into a tank. Uh, so this is uh, Iris pseudochorus. It's blue flag, and it's commonly used in water gardens. This here is the same thing. It's the same pot, you know, but we don't need such a big pot. So we hold these. Again, it's got a rhizome on it. So we'll put the rhizome right up against the edge, and then we'll take this fertilized sand, put in it like that, <coughs> tamp it down. Doesn't have to be straight, it'll grow straight. We're gonna cap this again, because we wanna put a cap over top of this sand to keep the nutrients from coming out of that sand quickly. Okay, and I'll just reach over here and grab a, a pickerel weed. Now pickerel weed and Sagittaria formed corms, and, uh, and just it's kinda like an onion bulb, all right? Uh, at the base, and we just do it the same way. Just put this, a big one like that, put it almost right to the bottom and fill it up with sand. So this is uh, pickerel weed. Uh, so there goes the fertilized soil. And we need a big old scoop of capping. There you go. There. And this will develop a nice pretty blue flower on it. Uh, well, what do you call them, purple? <laughs> And butterflies, uh, they, they, really, they really do come to them uh, and, and stuff like that. And it'll, it'll produce flowers all summer long. Uh, really neat. So